Hey guys, Brandon WhiskeyRiverTrading.com. So I've got a two pound Hudson Bay Velvet Cut that we released uh, last year sometime with our logo on it. I've got, this is my personal one, and it has a steel step wedge in the top. So we're going to be switching this out for some maple conical wedges that we carry on the website. They come in 10 packs like this. They're made in the US, made up in Maine, and they are tapered. So um, our first step is getting the steel wedge out of the head and handle, and then I can show you how to set those. So again, we got a steel barrel wedge, which kind of looks gaudy. All right, so we're gonna come in there with a small bit, drill a hole in the middle. See how it's centered, that'll help us center our other bit going in. All right, so it's nice and clean in there. So now we go find a bolt that we can thread in there and we can get a pliers on, pull it out. So I'm gonna go look for a bolt. So found a bolt. Ideally, uh, it would fit perfectly in there. You'd be able to thread it in and kind of chew up against the back, but this has got a little slop in there. But what we're gonna do is just kind of move it around and it's gonna eventually pull that, pull that wedge out. And we're, as we're doing this, we're going to pull up, allowing those threads to really bite into that head, or uh, wedge, I mean. He's coming. There we go. So... There's the wedge, it's undamaged, so you could reuse this if you wanted on a different, on a different um, handle in the future. So, uh, you can kind of see that this somewhat resembles and will fill that hole. Uh, so now that we got this barrel wedge out, uh, we're gonna go to one of these step wedges. Now, Council uses these uh, this is their camp carver model. They use this flat step wedge on a lot of their hatchets. So I'm gonna drill a hole on each side of that and then get a Leatherman in there and wiggle it out. So let's give it a shot. Clamp it in there nice and good. And these are hydraulically pressed in at the factory, so it is it is gonna be in there pretty good. And drill just a little bit deeper. I don't know how long these wedges are, so. I'm gonna grab a different pliers. So we bent the uh, other needle nose pliers because it's cheap and made in China, so we're back to the Leatherman. Um, 
So I think the best way to get this out is just to wiggle and pull at the same time. There we go. So there you go, there's your step wedge. I don't know, three quarters of an inch long, maybe five eighths. So that leaves us with two holes and a, a little cross section. So we're gonna stick a dowel wedge in there. All right, so now that we have these holes in the top of the ax where the step wedge was, I'm gonna show you how to drill a hole and set one of these conical wedges. So you start with a 3 8 inch bit. You're dr drilling a square hole in the top of this. Alright, so now that you get that hole drilled, this is going to get beat into, into that handle. So I'm going to unvise it. I'm going to lay the pole on there and just there you go. You're set. Now we can put it back on here and we can cut it off. And that's pretty crude, but we can sand the top of that off and you can see this looks a lot smoother than a steel barrel wedge. All right, so with this uh, Hudson Bay, the wedge is actually bigger than 3 eighths across the steel wedge that we pulled out. So we're gonna have to drill down inside there uh, and drill it out two 3 eighths down there and then set that maple wedge in there. So we're gonna do that right now. So a lot of folks think that these need to have a tapered, a tapered hole when in all reality uh, it would just be like cutting a tapered kerf in an axe handle for a, for a wedge to go in. You wouldn't want that. So you want the, the hole to be square, the walls, because this is tapered. So hope that makes sense. So we've got wedge in there again. You can see here how it has a little bit bigger on the top, but this wedge is tapered, like I said, so it's going to fill that out. We're gonna actually use the camp carver. Beat this in. And you can hear it set, just like a normal wedge. And hear the cone change. And then you can see how it flares out here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but the top of that handle is actually proud and it's flaring out even more than the than it was with that steel barrel wedge. We're gonna clamp it in here, we're gonna cut the cut the excess off. There we are. So you can see on the top, this is a sanded finish one. This one's just it cut off. And we'll throw some oil on that and show you what it looks like. So this is our camp wax that we offer on our website. So we will treat the top of the eye and the handle with this right now. Comes in one ounce, two ounce, and five ounce tins. You can warm it up with your finger. this and then it really brings out that color of that maple there you go and this is a poplar wedge in there and then rub the rest on the handle there so that's a finished product
All right, so if you're looking to step up your axe game and restore some axes, axes in a little bit different of a way, these are available in 10 packs in our wedge section. Check out our other premium wedges on the site. And not only do they look good, but they also perform a lot better than the steel barrel wedges that you just bang into the top of the head. So on that note, have a good day. My name is Brandon with whiskeyrivertrain.com. You'll be good.